I remember being little and always feeling that I had a greater purpose than what I saw around me. Back when I was young, we had MTV. So I could remember seeing how they illustrated people on that show and just thinking, if I could have the money and the cars and the popularity, then I would, you know, achieve success. I can remember selling drugs in, you know, seventh grade. By the time I was in high school, I'm thinking, if I could sell crack, I know I can make three, four times the amount of, that I'm making off of weed. And at the same time, a little brother who really looked up to me got caught selling weed. My mom was stressed by the time Sunday came. So I went to the church that day. And I guess I said to God while I was leaving, you know, if you're real, I'll give you my whole life. And I left church and I got a phone call from my dad and he said, hey, you know, Nanny Notion City just passed. And everyone took her gold. And she had these two Bibles. They were just left there. And I just started reading them. Everything she highlighted, everything she wrote, you know, I devoured it. And it was weird. I found pictures when I was born. And I found notes in there that she would pray for me. I realized that God, I think, is really trying to make a connection with me. I woke up that morning and thought, you know what? I can't do this. It's better to pump gas and tell people about Jesus than it is to live a hypocritical life and become a millionaire. I went back to school, I graduated, worked for an ad agency in Philly. I wanted to do stuff that made eternal impact. And my wife said, why don't you start your own design firm? I said, okay. In that first year, we did a rebrand for a limousine company that they landed on the top 100 rebrands in the world. And then we helped a painting company and they get distributed to 60 plus countries, 10,000 accounts. A few years later, I felt like God wanted us to help Christian businesses. It just is who I am. If there's something that I don't know and I'm interested in it, I'm going to digest every piece of information I can. I'm going to talk to anybody. I just want to accomplish things and do things. I want to build. I always say, we're here to serve you. My job is to answer the phone at 2 in the morning if something happens, or to work all night for you, to do whatever it takes, because I'm looking for long-term relationships. Lord, I pray that the kids ride safe today, they have fun, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, start your bikes. You know, and I think back at all these different places that God's taken the street hustler. My friend always tells me, my friend Chris, he's like, you know, it's your heart that got you there. It wasn't your skill, it wasn't your talent, it wasn't your connections. What God is looking for is a heart.